Happy Saturday, everybody. I'm just trying to get the iPad set up here so that I can see chat on it, and then we're going to be good to go. Um, was cutting it kind of close to getting started on time tonight, waiting on some some payments and things to come in, and and then yeah, so then it made me um, <laughs> it made me cut it really close. So we started like right exactly at 10:15 with zero seconds to spare. All right, so tonight, guys, we have a lot of basketball, all kinds of basketball, basketball and basketball and more basketball, which I love. Um, and what all do we have? We have Crusade, Timeless Treasures, Lux, Limited, Threads, Innovation, Excalibur, all kinds of fun stuff. All right, so um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put up the spreadsheet for the first break and take a look at who's in it. And generally speaking, I do break in the order that things end on eBay. So, um, you know, every once in a while, I will, I will vary from that, but not very often. So, first up, 2012-13 and one box of 2013-14 Panini Crusade. Uh, that break number two up there means it is the second time we have broken this, that exact product combination doesn't mean it's the second break of the night just means the second time we've broken that product so of course our end date that's uh today and our live stream time that is here and now our team names are down the left hand side and winning bidder names are down the right hand side uh there's a couple teams in there that say no bids buy back and well that's pretty self-explanatory those are unloved unwanted teams that uh if we pull anything for those they stay here with me because nobody bid on them so we're going to put, we'll put that spreadsheet up at the start of each break so that you'll be able to, uh, boy, that glare is coming off of that box of innovation. Um, let's change the angle a little bit, maybe. So, uh, oy, so we'll put the spreadsheet up at the start of every break. I'm trying to change the angle so we get rid of the glare. And I realized that was a little, you know, uh, uh, nausea inducing there. So sorry about that. So before each break, we'll put up the spreadsheet uh, so you'll get a chance to look at the the team owners for for each of our breaks as we do them. I'm going to set some of this back a little bit because we got to have a little room to open up our, our first boxes here. And we're opening a lot of 2012-13 stuff tonight, so it's probably worth uh, pointing out that in each of those 2012-2013 boxes, there will be a pack of bonus cards, and those bonus cards are always uh, Kobe Anthology cards. I've never pulled anything but base cards out of it, but we do open them, uh, these bonus packs. And if we pull a hit out of it, which is an autograph or a memorabilia or a one of one, then that would be uh, sent as random to, you know, random.org would decide who in the break would win that hit. If it's all base cards, um, then they kind of just go in a pile and eventually will go to Ronald McDonald's uh, or another children's charity. And all of that information about how bonus packs are handled, um, etc., is in the special circumstances area of the listing on every listing. So, but they put these in every every single every single 2012-13 product that I've ever opened. Panini had those in there. So there's 80 million of them. And I think they have pretty much zero value, and I've never seen anything but the same base cards over and over and over. But still, we open them in case one day we do find something worth, uh, worth sharing the love with. Okay, so here we go with some Crusade. Good luck to everybody. We know that there's, uh, of course, this is all the 2012-13 stuff is the double rookie class, you know, because of the lockout in... Uh, the year before in 11-12. So the 11-12 rookies and the 12-13 rookies are in the 12-13 uh, product. So double rookie class makes it a lot of fun to open the 12-13. All right, we have Jason Kidd base, Eric uh, Gordon base, David Lee base. We have a Harrison Barnes for the Golden State Warriors Crusade card. And that one looks like it is numbered to 99, 91 of 99, if I'm reading that right, on the Harrison Barnes. And we're going to have a redemption, which stinks. Um, well, it doesn't stink, but it does stink. <laughs> Here's a 
here's the deal it's going to be expired before I even flip it over let me just tell you this is going to be expired uh, when you get it you still want to enter it into your panini account like you normally would and then it's going to have to sit in there for about six weeks and then after that you can reach out to panini and ask them do you still have the card uh, and if they do they'll send it to you if they do not still have the card uh, they will work with you to find some kind of similarly valued replacement this is for miles Plumley quest autographs uh, we will go to the checklist on the panini website to verify the team for that before we finish this break but I always like to say that about the redemption cards because you know sometimes people haven't gotten a redemption before and then when you get it and it's expired you know you would just think ah, eh, and toss it but don't toss it it's still worth something so definitely don't toss it <laughs> Alex Lynn rookie card Jordan Crawford for the Warriors for the Mavericks, we have a Crusade card, Samuel Dallenbert or something like that. For the Lakers, we have a Kobe Bryant uh, Crusade card, and it's too bad that that one is not one of the parallels that's numbered. But even so, some of the Kobe Crusade cards, uh, especially out of 1213, can be uh, possibly, possibly worth a little bit of money. Another crusade for the Lakers. This is a die cut of Jordan Hill and it is numbered. It's numbered to 99. All right in this pack we've got you know this for the base cards let's just throw them up there and keep on rolling. I mean you can see who they are. You don't need me to say it. We'll just take a look at our other stuff. For the Raptors Rudy Gay crusade numbered not numbered. That is just the standard I should have known that by looking at the colors that is the standard crusade card now this of course says Charlotte Bobcats it's still the Charlotte franchise which are currently known as the Charlotte Hornets but the cards always stay with the franchise and the Charlotte Bobcats are the current Charlotte Hornets we have Bismack Biombo materials hit for Charlotte all right we have got i think we have a hit in every pack in this uh the best i remember in 12 13 so we should find something interesting everywhere we go for the clippers grant hill numbered to 49 for the grant hill crusade insert for the pacers orlando johnson signature that's of course uh, a sticker auto pretty much unless you know unless i note that it's an on-card auto let's just assume that it is a sticker because most of most of what we see unfortunately are sticker autos we do find some on-card autos in various places but not not the majority of them these days and i think that's probably just because they can get more people to sign that way for the t-wolves chase budinger and also unnumbered you would think i would just know that by looking at the color and i do know it but yet i still flip it over markeef morris for the phoenix suns materials hit and we got there oh lamarcus marcus aldridge so my man john wall is finally getting somewhere in the playoffs i'm pretty excited about that there's JaVale McGee for the Nuggets. That will be unnumbered because it's just the standard. Here's Daryl Dawkins for the 76ers. That's a nice uh, veteran hit for the Sixers with the Daryl Dawkins um, signature. That's, that's actually a pretty cool hit, Sixers. I like that for you. So yeah, I thought, you know, I thought maybe Giannis... Uh, and his crew might be able to get to get out of that series alive but at the end of the day the bucks didn't make it but they did put on a good a good show in the first round for the another for the clippers karen butler and for the jazz paul Millsap, materials hit now it was 2012 13 now we're going to open 13 14 and these have um, like this weird powder residue on them 
And apparently that's because Panini decided it would be lots of fun. <laughs> they thought that it would somehow keep the Crusade cards from getting scratched, although honestly, you don't see Crusade cards scratched all that often anyway, and then this powdery crap just makes mess. But anyway, a lot of it will be off on me before it gets to you, but there might still be some on it when you get it. For the Bulls, this Crusade of Derrick Rose is numbered to 349. We've got another Redemption. Of course, you already heard the spiel on that, so we don't have to go through it again. James Harden, that's nice. Majestic Marks, uh, James Harden Redemption. That's a pretty sweet hit. And then there's our Divic base. Yeah, let's go ahead and just pull our let's pull our Crusades on up here to the front. Oh, here's one for the Pistons, Andre Drummond to three forty-nine. I have to hold it kind of at that angle for you to be able to see the number on it. The Cavs that will not be numbered on the Varejo. Another Cav on the Dion Waiters is numbered to three forty-nine. And a nobility insert and base card and our stupid little blank filler cards. So I'm all jazzed up after the uh, NFL draft, and now I'm like all excited wanting the NBA draft to be like tomorrow instead of in a month. <laughs> for the Pacers, we have Land Stevenson, unnumbered. Uh, then we have for the Celtics, Avery Bradley, unnumbered. And for the Jazz, um, John Lucas, numbered to 249. So, yeah, I think my Steelers, uh, I'm pretty happy with who the Steelers picked up in the draft this year. You know, I can't believe, really, honestly, that they got Josh Dobbs in round four. That seems kind of crazy. I thought he would go a little bit higher than that. Ryan Anderson for the Pelicans Crusade. For the Clippers, Antoine Jameson. For the Hawks, Doc Rivers, number to 349. <laughs> excuse me, number to 349 on the Doc Rivers. That's pretty cool. And then a couple more uh, base cards. Oh, Kareem. Cool. For the Bucks. And Steve Nash. Oh, a couple of nice veteran uh, base cards there. Yeah, allergies are still getting the best of me, so I have to apologize for all the sniffing and snorting that I've been doing for the last couple of weeks. I cannot seem... I'm taking all kinds of allergy medication, and boy, this does not seem to be making much difference. It's crazy. Whatever's blooming is about to put me under. Golden State Warriors, Jordan Crawford to 349. And then a Shumpert hit for the Knicks. And we will, of course, recap that. But first, uh, let me go to the Panini checklist and uh, verify these two little uh, cards here, which, again, you know, we pretty much know where they're going to go. But because they are redemptions, I do go to the checklist to verify them. And it takes a minute because you got to go through like 1,700 drop-down menus before it lets you see what you want to see. What is the card set on that? Quest Autographs. Well, I may as well just keep that up. Quest Autographs, card 64. All right. Autographs with card number 64. La, 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 la. Come on, Miles Plumley, Where are you on here, brother? All right, Pacers, which kind of we knew already, but now we have verified, which is, I think, always the best way to do it. And then we have our James Harden, which we will do. And again, pretty sure we know where that's going to go, but we're going to do it the right way, and we're going to verify it on the lovely Panini website. Come on now. So there's, uh, what was this one? Majestic Marks. So there's a new um, basketball product coming out that is, um, I think it's, what was it called? Oh man, they just told me. Studio, I think it's called. So I haven't, uh, James Harden. 
So yeah, so we're going to be probably breaking a little bit of studio sometime soon and also threads when it comes out. And as soon as I can, I must be in the wrong card set on there. Oh well. All right. Oh, there it is. Finally, at last. Okay, of course we already knew it was the Rockets, but like I said, guys, I just like to be precise. I just think that it is the right way to do things. Okay, so let's recap our hits here, and I've got to bring YouTube back up so if you're in chat that I can uh, I can see it. Oh, and I've accidentally paused it. Good gracious. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we have our Redemption, James Harden signature for the Rockets, our Miles Plumley Redemption for the Pacers, Materials hit with the Shumpert for the Knicks, Materials hit of the Paul Millsap, for, well, if I hold it like that, you can see the color of the material better. I don't know why it's so hard to see these darker colors with that. Uh, for the Jazz, the Daryl Dawkins signature for the Sixers, which is cool hit. Markeith Morris for the Suns. Orlando Johnson for the Pacers. And Bismarck Biembo for Charlotte. All right, so that is 2012, 13, and 2013, 14 Crusade. I'm not going to go through our giant stack of Crusade cards again uh, unless you guys want to. If you do, jump into chat and tell me. Otherwise, we're gonna we're gonna buzz on down the road because we've got a lot of basketball to open tonight. So let's bring our spreadsheet back up, and what does it show us? That next up is. 2012 16 that that's just not right is it it's supposed to be 2012 13 let's just fix that 2012 13 2013 14 timeless treasures and again uh the number three just means it's the third time we've broken that particular combination so you will see your team names down the left and your name in lights as the winning bidder down the right hand side uh, you'll see there's one there that says direct. It was previously an unsold team, and somebody contacted me to buy it via via uh, messages, and I had time to get that completed. So that is why that says, says that. Anything that says no bids buyback is just an unsold team. Uh, there, were, there was somebody who was asking about buying two different teams, and uh, I was not able to finalize that before the spreadsheet had to be finished so that we could start the break on time. So if, um, you know, if that payment came in, those teams, of course, whichever two teams they were, and I don't remember off the top of my head which break they were in. I remember the teams, but I don't remember the break. Uh, then, of course, you're going to get those, even though on the spreadsheet it's going to say no bids. Uh, and that's because, again, you know, spreadsheets got to be finalized at some point uh, or we can't start the break on time. So... When it's getting it, when it's uh, cuts kind of close like that, it's not always time to update it and get it taken care of before before time for the break to start. And there again, of course, is our our bonus pack of our Kobe anthology that Panini decided to put in every single 2012-13 product. So we'll open it up and look at some more base cards here, which are honestly pretty much the same. I mean, you don't see very many of them. There's however many there are. I think we've seen them all about 600 times by now. All right, so this is Timeless Treasures 1213. And again, for anything that is just our base cards, we'll just blow through our Pits we'll spend a little more time with. And this looks like for the Magic, we have an Andrew Nicholson rookie signature. Um, glass rookie. And you can see that signature. Well, let me put something behind. Uh, where's, oh, of course, naturally, I threw those stupid little uh, white blocks down. Let me let's set this down. Let me pick one up. And I can hold it behind it. You'll be able to see this a little bit better. Uh, it looks like he's kind of signed that pretty much off the card, or partially off the card. So I'm guessing what has happened with these is they must have uh, somehow inserted them, even though it looks like it's directly on the card. It must have been an insert that was signed and put into the card, because I don't know how you would account for that otherwise. 
This is numbered to $4.99 on the Andrew Nicholson for the Magic. We have another redemption. We may as well set it back somewhere. Oh, there's a nice John Henson for the Bucks. And same deal, uh, Glass Rookie. It is a signature that looks like it's on card, but must be a, an insert of some sort. It is numbered to $4.99 on the John Henson hit for the Bucks. I guess I can set that down now. Monte Ellis. All right, and our redemption here is Josh Selby. And it's going to be another one of those glass rookie autographs like what we just saw. So we'll we'll checklist verify that one once we get through this next pack in case we have any more redemptions. This is the 1314 pack. Is that the base on the bottom? I guess it was not. And I just pulled it up to the front. <laughs> oh, well. Um, all right. So we have a Lakers insert. That's kind of a cool NBA Champions Lakers insert. Then we have, um, what does that say? Kendall Gill, numbered to $2.99, and again for Charlotte. And uh, they're called, of course, the Hornets by the time we get to 1314. And this Kendall Gill is an on card autograph. So there's a, a hit for the Charlotte Hornets. There's an Illusova. We got here Treasured Threads Reggie Lewis for the Celtics. Was that numbered? Did I, I don't see a number on that unless I just, I don't see one. So I guess that one is not numbered on the Reggie Lewis uh, threads. And then we may as well get our little white uh, thing back out. Oh, that's a nice patch um, for Solomon Hill. For the Pacers, it's numbered to 49. You can see it over here in the left-hand corner. And that is an on-card auto. And a nice two-color patch. So I'm a sucker for a good piece of fabric. And I do I do like the materials hit on that. And it is a nice low number on the Solomon Hill. I'm trying to get it again where you can see it's uh, 10 of 49 for the Pacers. And that's just our blank card I've been using behind it. So now i got to go back to the checklist. And we've got to go into 2012 Timeless Treasures Glass Rookie Autographs. Okay, so let's go back over here to Dear Panini. And go back through, uh, once again, to our checklist. I don't know why there are so many redemptions tonight. They were just... Uh, Trying to make us work for it, I believe. All right, glass rookie autographs, and it was card number 199. Card number 199, Josh Selby, is the Grizzlies, the Memphis Grizzlies. And it looks like it is to, um, to 499 is what it looks like on the checklist there. So let's go ahead and write Grizzlies on here, and then we'll do our hit recap. So we have our Grizzlies redemption for Glass Rookie Autographs for Josh Selby. We have numbered to 49 with the nice piece of fabric, the Solomon Hill hit for the Pacers. The Threads hit for Reggie Lewis for the Celtics. That one is not numbered that I saw. Then for Charlotte, we have the Kendall Gill to $2.99, and that is an on-card auto. The glass rookie hit for the Bucks with John Henson. I know that's not the buck you were looking for. I know, I know you were looking for Giannis. Um, and then Andrew Nicholson for the Magic, and it was numbered to 4.99. That John Henson was numbered to 4.99 as well. Well, I'll just flip it back over so you can see the number on it. Yeah, we pulled it. What did we pull Giannis out of recently? We pulled him out of something not too awfully long ago. Um, so Giannis is floating around in here in these various 13, 14 sets. We just have to get lucky to find him, I think. And then, <clears throat> oh, my, did I pause this stupid thing again? Good grief. That's. I keep, uh, every time I have to pick up the pad, uh, the iPad to do a checklist, I end up somehow pausing the broadcast without meaning to. So that's lots of fun. All right, next up, we have um, our 2012 
13 and 2013-14 Panini Innovation. And you will see in here that there are lots of um, lots of teams that are marked unpaid. The majority of those uh, probably are one person. And uh, I realize your payment may have come in since I finalized the spreadsheet. And of course, you know, if it has, we're all good. You're going to get anything that you are due. It's just at some point this has to be uh, finalized, you know, and we have to get on, get on with it so we can get the break started on time. There's another one that was sold direct, previously unsold team. That's what that notation is. No bids buyback. Pretty self-explanatory. Nobody bid on it, so it stays here with me. And again, I do recognize that there was one bidder who was trying to buy a couple of those unpaid teams, and we just did not, we ran out of time to get it finalized. So, um, you know, if your payment came in for it, no worries. Those will go to you even though the spreadsheet says, you know, no bids buyback. Um, if the payment came in in the interim. So, no worries. So, once again, we will have a pack of, oh, no, do we not have a Kobe anthology in here? Oh, no, we do. I was like, that's going to be the first thing of, tw of 12, 13 I never opened without anthology if it wasn't in there. But then, yeah, it was hiding. That's all. It was there. Just hiding. Innovation is one of my favorite favorite things to open. I absolutely love innovation and I wish they still made innovation, but but they don't. But they are bringing us whatever studio is, which I think I read that they had had studio before, but honestly, I don't ever remember seeing anything called studio basketball from Panini. I really don't. So I'll be interested to see what it looks like when it does come out, which is still a couple of uh, months away, I think. Or a month away, maybe. But I am. We are getting Spectra basketball, so I am getting. Uh, I am getting a case of Spectra, so that'll be fun to open. And then the threads and whatever else we end up with, studio and etc. There's a nice Kimball Walker rookie card for Charlotte, and um, I forget what they call these uh, when you look at it in the in the price guide and stuff. They call them. They don't call them die cut because they're not technically die cut. I don't remember what they call them, but this is a nice hit. It's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Your Kimball Walker to 349 for Charlotte. That is a nice uh, insert hit for you. And if I could remember what they called that particular series, I would tell you. But uh, obviously, I cannot spit it out of my mouth. Even though I've got it rolling around in my head, it is not coming out. And here is going to be... Uh, another one of those inserts. This one is to 349 for Derek Rose for the Bulls. And it's hard to get those in a right good kind of light where you can see them. They get a lot of wicked reflection on them. And we're going to have a stained glass card for, who is that? Goran Drogic. Goran Drogic for the Suns. And again, stained glass, this is the first year they did the stained glass, was in the 2012-13 innovation. So anytime you get a stained glass from 12-13, check the value before you do anything with it because some of them are worth some decent amount of money. Uh, when they get into 13-14, they put them in more frequently, so uh, they're not worth as much. This is George Hill Innovative Inc. Redemption. Pretty sure that that's going to be the Pacers, but we will checklist verify that as well. Here's a Jeremy Pargo signature, rookie signature for the 76ers. I don't remember that player at all. So I don't know if that guy actually played very long for the Sixers, and I just don't remember him, or if he didn't play for them very long, but I don't remember him at all. Here is another Goran Drogic for the Suns. This one is, oh, this is a stat line jersey. I love these. This is numbered to 149. These are not terribly common, actually, in 1213 Innovation. So some of these stat line jerseys are actually also worth some decent money. And you'll see on here, it tells you, um, you know, this is the actual date of the game he wore that jersey. There's the final score, who played, uh, his points, his assists, his steals. I mean, these stat line jerseys are some of my favorite things in, in 1213 Innovation. And honestly, you don't pull them very often. So that is a very cool hit for the Suns to 149. I like that hit uh, a lot for you, Suns. 
Now we're into 1314 Innovation. And we got to set our silly redemption over there to do something with it in a minute. Hey, there's MKG, Michael Kidd Gilchrist for Charlotte as well. Another one of the kind of whatever they call them, die cut sort of things, but they don't call them die cut. And you'll notice this has some kind of weird shading there, like a gray type shading around at in the middle and at the top. I don't know what the purpose of that is. It's on all of them, and I don't really know why, but it is part of the card design. First time I saw it, I thought it was like something messed up, but it's not. It's part of the design. There's a nice Russell Westbrook insert, Juggernauts, for the Thunder. So, and that's uh, a very thick card compared to some of the other cards in Innovation. And then we're going to have another hit for the Sixter, Sixers, Arnett Moultrie, Moultrie to 199 And that is an on-card auto, Foundations, Inc. So that's got to be... Uh, that's got to be one of your veteran players for the Sixers. Top-notch autographs of Kenyon Martin for the Knicks, numbered to 325. And the Kenyon Martin, of course, is die cut. And it is a sticker auto. If I can get it where you can... I don't know why the lighting is so weird on these that you have to, I don't know, tilt them a bunch of different ways where you can see what you need to see. Kevin Love to 299 for the T-Wolves. 119 of 299 fabric hit for the Wolves. Kyle Lowry stained glass for the Raptors. And then we got to deal with uh, we got to deal with another redemption. And I'm like, I mean, I am 99.9% .9 sure that that is going to be for the Pacers, but we're gonna look it up. Because that's the right way to do it. Although I will say there was one not, <laughs> not too long ago, like maybe about a week ago, where I would, I mean, I would have sworn that that, that player was going to the Milwaukee Bucks. I mean, I was, I was as close to 100% as you can be without being 100%. And I pulled up the checklist and it was the Orlando Magic. This is card number seven in Innovative Inc. Yeah, so yeah, this is why we check. <laughs> All right, George Hill for the Pacers. That is um, correct. That is the correct card on the George Hill for the Pacers. Well, obviously we know it was the correct card. I mean, uh, it's a redemption. It's not going anywhere. But, I mean, the team was. I wasn't wrong on that one is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it is, in fact, the Pacers. So, to recap, we have uh, the redemption for the Pacers, George Hill for the Innovative Inc. signature. Then we have the stat line jersey of Gordon Drogic to 149. And I absolutely, as you know, I've already said, I love those stat line jerseys. So, I think that is a super cool hit. Uh, then we have our Kevin Love fabric for the T-Wolves. For the Knicks, we have Kenyon Martin. Then for the 76ers, Arnett, I don't say this guy's name right, Moultrie, Moultrie, Mo well, okay, you know who he is, Foundation, Foundations, Inc. And then another hit for the Sixers with the Jeremy Pargo. And then, of course, we had all the inserts with, uh, we'll just take a look real quick, we had our stained glass and juggernauts, our MKG, another stained glass, this Drogic out of 1213. The Derrick Rose, and then the nice Kimba Walker uh, rookie for the Charlotte, now Hornets. And that is innovation. So let's pull up our spreadsheet and take a look at the next break. I gotta get our spreadsheet pulled up for the next break. And it's a mixer, so we got uh, we've got things from several different years in this one. We've got one box of 2015-16 Excalibur, one box of 14-15 Threads, and one box of 13-14 Titanium. And you'll see it says NBA Mixer number two. So uh, basically I'm just calling the mixers just one, two, three, four, five, so on and so forth because they're going to have a different group of products probably every time we do a mixer. 
And then again, we've got team names down the left. You were naming lights as the winning bidder down the right-hand side. Um, all the unpaid teams, again, I realize belong to probably one or two people. And if you've paid in the interim, no worries. You're going to get anything that you are due to get. Just it was unpaid when the spreadsheet had to be finalized. So that is why it is marked that way. Oh, and you know what? While we're talking about uh, uh, shipping and payment and stuff like that, where is my box of threads? Where did I, did I set, ah, where did I, set? oh, there it is. I moved it while ago. I was like, I know I had that box of threads here. I moved it up there a while ago. That's why I can't find it. Um, yeah, so while we're talking about shipping and payment and that kind of stuff, there, you know, I will always combine your shipping after the last auction of the of the night ends. So if, if you're ever bidding on stuff and you know you're going to be bidding on more things, even if you see, sometimes if I've got a whole lot of stuff, I'll do some invoicing in the middle and then I'll update it again towards the end just to make it faster. But if you're still bidding, you know you've got more teams and you see an invoice, just wait to pay it, you know, until you're done bidding or until the last auctions of the night have ended. And that way you will always get the combined shipping rate. And I have been told, that box of optic is not cooperating. I've been told by a few different people that when they are paying from the app or from the mobile, uh, sometimes from a mobile device, even not on the app, that it will not show, that it doesn't show them the combined shipping rate. Now on my side, it will show the proper shipping total and it will show combined and it will show me the right amount. But I have been told that sometimes when you're using the app, it does not do that. However, if you run across that, now look at that. When I open that up, look, those packs are spread all throughout this box. They're supposed to be, you know, in these little spots. And instead, they have sli they have, they have been sliding all over this box. we got to tear the box apart to get them out. That's just poor packaging. Um, anyway, so if you run into that problem... Try paying from the website, you know, on your phone or whatever. You can go to ebay.com and try to pay it that way. Or you can pay from a desktop or a laptop. And now I'm just making sure I got all the packs out of there because they were all spread out all over the place. And it will show the right total, the same total that I would see on my side. I don't know why it doesn't show the right total sometimes on combined shipping on your side, but that's, you know, that's what I have been told a bunch of times. Um, do I sell unpaid, unpaid teams before I break? Sometimes I do. If I have enough time and somebody asks me specifically about a specific team, like, like the person who sent me a message tonight and said, I'm interested in the nets in XYZ break and, you know, they were unsold then yes, then I will, you know, if I have time and somebody tells me specifically what they want, yes, but it's still going to be the same starting bid amount. Uh, the only difference is if you've already got other teams, I wouldn't charge you additional shipping. I would just charge you uh, the starting bid amount. But if you didn't have additional teams, then it would be no different than if you had, you know, the total would be the exact same shipping and everything as if you had bought it when it was live on on eBay. So hopefully that answers your question. If not, you know, let me know. Hey, it's a James Harden kind of night, but this one is uh, not autographed. I thought it might be when we saw it turned the opposite way, but it's just the Titans insert for James Harden. And now we have something here for the Jazz with Rudy Gobert. And there you go. You got a nice draft day autographs, rookie card of Rudy Gobert for the Jazz. And I swear, I think we pulled the same card. I mean, obviously not the, I, you know, obviously not the same card because the other one's been shipped out. But we pulled the same guy on this card out of the last break we did of Titanium. And I'm just looking down here. You can kind of see on this bottom edge and in the corners, there's some chipping and some, uh, some less than perfect edges and corners on that. And... As you guys that break with me often know, I rant on that kind of stuff often that they seldom come out of the pack in good condition, especially the thicker cards. Well, I shouldn't say not in good condition, not in condition that would grade a 10 or sometimes not even a 9. 
So I do try to point that out when I see it. Sometimes I don't catch it in in the live break, but when I do, I try to point it out. There's a fundamentals Larry Bird insert for the Celtics numbered to 199. There's 44 of 199 on the Larry Bird insert. And then a Tyson Chandler hit for the Knicks. And that's a piece of fabric. Oh, yay. And it's an orange piece of fabric. So it probably came from maybe one of the letters or the numbers or a piece up there on the shoulder. So that's a cool little Tyson Chandler hit for the Knicks. Um, oh, you were asking. Oh, you were. Well, I'm sorry. You were asking me two different things. I was answering about unsold teams because I am stupid and I didn't read your first chat right. You were asking about unpaid teams, and I answered you about unsold teams. So that's two different things, um, and that's totally my fault. I just read that wrong the first time. So give me one second here. Let's take a look at our hit, and then I will answer the question about unpaid teams. Chris Bosch and Yadonis Haslam for the Miami Heat, and that is numbered to what? 155, 19 of 155. For the Heat, Game Gear. At least we got two different colors, right? I mean, so that's kind of cool. Um, in regard to unpaid teams, I do not generally sell the unpaid teams in chat. I will sometimes if it is, you know, like say we were breaking, you know, something for 2016 football and the Dallas Cowboys had been bid up to 100 bucks or 150 bucks and weren't paid. Now, those I would sell, yes, before, you know, we broke the product. But normally, I don't. And that's because, you know, there's a gap of, of seven or eight minutes when I have to finalize the spreadsheet before we start the break. This is to number 28, Tony Parker Refractor. It's actually a pretty cool card for the Spurs. And so somebody could have paid, you know, in that interim. And I don't have access to my email while we're doing the breaks either. So I would never want to sell a team out from under someone in that way unless I had, you know, unless it was a big one, like I said, the Cowboys or something like that, in which case I would have notified the person anyway that they had, that it was going to be resold because they hadn't paid. This is Joe Dumar for the Pistons. And it is numbered to $2.99 on that materials hit. So I'm sorry I read your question wrong the first time, Indy Nate. That was my that was my fault. I was just kind of glancing over there and I read it wrong. So hopefully that answers it better. Anthony Davis. Kyle Lowry for the Raptors. Oh nice. We got a signature this time. All right, cool. And once again, we got a little bit of a Kind of wonky uh, corners down here are imperfect on that, but that's still a real nice, uh, nice hit, Raptors, with Kyle Lowry. Or at least I like it. <laughs> so, you know, I guess, I guess all hits are relative, although to me, honestly, most of the time, any hit is a good hit. Because I just like to get hits if I'm bidding. All right, so we're into threads now, and there's a lot of base, and there's a lot of inserts, and we're going to buzz right through pretty much all of it and stop on our hits. If there is something that you want to take a better look at, you just pop up there and chat and let me know, and we'll do it. Otherwise, we're going to keep right on keeping on. Uh, here is a, a Devon Marble Orlando Magic rookie card. They call these leather rookie cards. Obviously, they're not made of leather, but they have kind of that sort of texture on the front. So, these leather rookie cards um, out of 14, 15 threads. Ooh, that's a thick pack. We're going to save it. It's, it feels like it's got something really good in it. Um, so, some of those leather rookies can, can net you a little bit of money out of uh, 14, 15 threads. And generally, I just like threads because there's all kinds of fun stuff in here. Veteran stuff and, and rookie stuff and all kinds of cool stuff in threads. It's another one of series I really like. This is to 199 Kyle Anderson for the Spurs. And it is a materials hit. And I can't really get that in any direction where it looks right. Because, see that? It looks blue on the monitor I'm looking at. But it's not. That piece of fabric is totally black. So, I don't know why it looks blue right there. But it did. 
And I like these little jerseys, which sometimes are signed in there. This one isn't, but still, it's a nice little Aaron Gordon uh, rookie card, little die-cut jersey for the Magic, which they are predicting. I was looking today at some of the, of course, <laughs> If they don't do any better predicting the NBA draft than they did predicting where people were going to go in the NFL draft, it's not going to matter what the what the prognosticators say anyway because they butchered what happened in the NFL draft. Um, but in the NBA draft, I saw an update today where a couple of different people had one of one of my UK players predicted to go to the Magic, which. I don't know. I don't ever watch the Magic. So if we go to the Magic, that's going to be hard for me. Jordan Adams for the Grizzlies. Debut threads. So that's rookie Jordan Adams to... What is the number on that? 199 for the Grizzlies. And there again, we've got a wonky uh, corner. Lower right has got some chipping and stuff. Well, actually, lower left too. Both, All the corners on that have a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of imperfection. That's the word I was searching for. I knew I'd get it out in a minute. <laughs> so I think the draft is going to be pretty interesting this year. There's uh, looks to be, on paper anyway, looks to be like it's going to be a pretty good draft class for the NBA. So we'll see. I mean, there have certainly been other times when I've thought players looked really good on paper and then they get to where they're going and they end up Kind of disappointing you a little bit. It's a nice talented twosomes with uh, LeBron and Kyrie. Insert number to 199, Century Greats. Oh, that's worth stopping on too uh, because that's the Supersonics. And, of course, the Supersonics are no more. They are the current uh, Oklahoma City Thunder, if I am remembering correctly. Of course, I will verify that. But they will go to their current franchise, and I'm 99% sure that the Supersonics became the Oklahoma City Thunder. So anything that was is a Supersonic will go there. Just in general, all the cards stay with their franchise. Even when a franchise moves or renames, it stays, you know, card will stay with the franchise. And a Redemption in Threads. Oh my gosh, I never find Redemptions in Threads. And now we're going to have a stupid Redemption in Threads. It has just been the night for having to go to the checklist has it not i mean good grief all right oh it's kobe good grief well we know kobe's gonna be is gonna be a laker okay but we're still gonna checklist verify it because that's what i do but i we know he's a laker we'll find out what he's numbered to uh, when we get that far and oh that is just barely expired man nine two of 16 so I know somebody else pulled a Kobe Redemption recently. Well, maybe within the last three months anyway. And they said that they were they didn't have that particular Kobe card. But I pulled a Kobe Redemption maybe four or five months ago. Uh, they also did not have my specific Kobe card. But they had another Kobe card that was also, you know, signed and numbered to 25. And they sent me that one instead. So they do work with you on it. So we'll find out in a minute what your Kobe is numbered to. And then if they don't have that particular card left, hopefully they'll be able to give you a different uh, Kobe that has the same or similar numbering. And of course, why did I throw my little white block down there? KJ McDaniels, rookie view for the 76ers. And um, that is on card, or or at least signed on something clear that was inserted into the card, one or the other. So, C.J. McCollum, rookie signature. Uh, why did I say C.J. McCollum? K.J. McDaniels. Holy cow. <laughs> K.J. McDaniels, rookie view signature. Oh, see, I was thinking about that Kobe and not paying the least bit of attention to what I was doing right there because I was thinking ahead to that Kobe. <laughs> There's a T.J. Warren uh, leather rookie card. And see, that's another one of the reasons I like threads, man. You pull some crazy stuff out of threads. Like, people think, oh, threads is like, you know, low end or it's not very good or they don't like it or whatever. 
I love threads and you can seriously pull some really good stuff out of here. I don't know why people are biased against, not everyone is biased against threads, of course, but, but some people, uh, some people have told me they don't consider it to be like that great of a, of a card set, but I, I think it's tremendous and I always have such fun with it. So let's see where the Kobe goes. All right. Well, when I looked at the signage and then looked at the card number 23, it's numbered to 49. So sweet, sweet, sweet. So Lakers, you just pulled a Kobe numbered to 49. Okay. That is pretty nice, right? <laughs> Out of threads, and that's why we love threads. Why I love threads anyway. Okay, so to recap. Oh no, we can't recap yet. We have Excalibur left to open. We can't recap yet. See, I'm all excited about Kobe, and I've gotten completely off track now. And did my iPad pause again? Well, of course it did, because I stopped to go to the checklist. I don't know why it pauses every time I go to the checklist. It's got to stop doing that. I don't know why it does it, but it does. And then it takes it forever to get started back. So, hmm. All right, well, anyway. So, once again, with our base cards, we're just going to kind of, you know, buzz on through them here. Oh, there's the Greek Freak. And we'll stop on our things that look more interesting thought maybe that Jordan Mickey, uh, I don't know why I thought that Jordan Mickey would be numbered, but it isn't. Team Excalibur, Clay Thompson for the Warriors, insert. Jam Fest um, of Shaquille O'Neal. If I can get there, you can kind of see it's, it's gold up at the top, and yet when I hold it like that, you can't. Oh, there you go. That's, a, that's the way to do it. Tilt it forward a little bit maybe is the way to go there. And we have an Excalibur card. Ben Wallace for the Pistons, numbered to 199 for the Ben Wallace. Now, of course, we know what we're hoping to find in here. Hoping to find some Carl Anthony Towns or some Kristaps Porzingis or some Devin Booker. We're hoping to find something. There's a lot of a lot of ways we could go and come out with some pretty decent hits out of here. So. Let's hope we land on one. Jarrell Martin. I mean, the Lakers are already happy. There's Jaleel Okafor, rookie, because they pulled the Kobe signature. There's a Jam Fest, Tracy McGrady, and an Excalibur hit for the Kings. One of five. That's nice. That's the lowest Crusade card I've ever seen. I've never seen one numbered to five before. Um... Hang on a second. Let's go ahead and put the Rondo in a in a little sleeve there. Since this is the kind of surface that we want to make sure not to fingerprint and such. So nice. So Rondo, when he played for the Kings, because he's played for practically every team in the NBA, it seems, and numbered 2-5. Go ahead and bring our crusade up to the front here. Actually, we'll set our rage on over there because he is low numbered. We'll set him over there with our hits to recap. Carl Malone to 149 for the Jazz. Oh, why, why, why must they turn them so many different directions? Makes me crazy. Marcus Smart for the Celtics. Monumental Marks, that is a sticker auto, and numbered to 115, which is kind of weird that it's numbered to 115, but, but yet it is. So there's Marcus Smart hit for the Celtics. Frank Kamensky, Bogdanovich, and who is that? Oh, Kevin McHale. All right. Let's see who else we can find in here. Oh, I just turned them and I still turned. And some are still the wrong way. Hmm. 
There's a D'Angelo Russell rookie for the Lakers. Sam Decker. Jarrell Martin again for the Grizzlies. That's the second Jarrell Martin we've pulled in this break, isn't it? Unless I'm just crazy. Um, and that, of course, big, nice big piece of material. And then the sticker auto down the side. I do like the card design uh, of the of the rookie cards of in Excalibur. We're just hoping to pull a high value target out of here, of course. That would be the goal. There's so many ways we could do it in 15, 16. There's the big cat, Carl Anthony Towns rookie card. Nerland's Noel Team Excalibur insert. And there is a Carl Malone for the Jazz insert. Oh, and we're going to have a Nerland's hit for the Sixers. Nerland's Noel Memorable Memorabilia. That's a mouthful. Memorable Memorabilia. Yeah, that's, that's try and say that fast ten times. All right, let's see who we have up next. Huh. Uh, uh, why, why must they be upside down? Why, why, Panini? Why must you place half the cards upside down? Isaiah Thomas, he's had a good series, especially considering what happened with his sister. It's pretty amazing. There's another Marcus Smart, Team Excalibur. Oh, I saw that T-Wolves, and I got excited for a minute, but it is not the T-Wolf of that we were hoping for. So this rookie rampage is Bellica, not the one we wanted. We did want T-Wolves, but we wanted a different T-Wolf. All right, so let's recap our hits out of the mixer. We have our signature material hit for the T-Wolves, materials hit for the Sixers. I was holding that a little bit too close, wasn't I? Uh, for the Grizzlies, signature and material hit. Signature hit for the Celtics. For the Kings, the Rondo uh, Crusade 1 of 5. Our big hit of the night, our Kobe Bryant signature to 49 for the Lakers out of threads. Our KJ McDaniels rookie view signature for the Sixers. For the Grizzlies, Jordan Adams material hit. Kyle Anderson, materials hit for the Spurs. Kyle, Kyle Lowry, autograph hit for the Raptors. Material hit of Joe Dumar for the Pistons, which is pretty cool. Dual materials hit for the Heat, Chris Bosh and Udonis Haslam. Tyson Chandler, material hit for the Knicks. And then a draft day autograph, Rudy Gobert for the Jazz. So those are our hits out of... Mixer number, I think that was mixer number three, right? That was Threads and Titanium and Excalibur. Let me just get these scooted aside here. Not really scooted, but picked up and moved aside more accurately. And then let's put up our spreadsheet and take a look at our final break of the night, which is another mixer. And... It is 1516 Lux and 1617 Limited. And once again, you'll see the team names down the left, winning bitter name down the right. And if anybody did just jump in and you see your team and it says unpaid, hey, no worries. If you've paid it in the meantime, we're all good. You're going to get what you should get. But when the spreadsheet was finalized, it was unpaid. That's why it's marked that way. So. And then after this break, we will do our nightly random giveaway as well. And as far as shipping, most of the stuff from this break will go out on Tuesday, I expect. There's a possibility that it could go Wednesday, but it will most likely go Tuesday. Well, if I could get the box open, that might be helpful know why I have such a, <laughs> such a struggle getting that open. 
Lux is another brand I really like. There's always uh, there's always some high end uh, or low numbered, um, you know, nice on card autographs and some pretty cool stuff you can pull out of here. We pulled a Chris Paul on card auto to low numbered out of the last box we opened. There's usually one that's in one of the little frames. That is the that's the only downside really is that the little frames tend to have. Um, you know, dings and stuff on them. The little frames themselves are hardly ever mint, and I don't really know why that is, but they hardly ever are. Look at that. Byron Scott for the Lakers to 49. On card auto, Byron Scott for the Lakers to 49. And it is in the little frame I was talking about, and, you know, it does, it's not as bad as some that I've seen, but, but the little frames definitely are, are not normally mint. So, Lakers, look at that with the Byron Scott to 49. I like it. I like it. I like it. I know you'd like it more probably if it was Kobe, but still, Byron Scott, that's nice. Terry Cummings on card auto for the Bucks. It's numbered to 49, and it's got a little bit of some wonkiness down here in the corner, but it's nothing uh, outrageous, but... But it's got a few little odds and ends going on in the corner. I feel it more so than I see it as I hold it. Then we have Vince Carter for the Grizzlies to 99. And the Grizzlies are just like hitting in everything we open tonight, aren't they? The Grizzlies are just going crazy. Oh, nice patch. Trey Burke, numbered to 25 for the Jazz. And that's a pretty sweet piece of material. It's probably kind of hard to tell because of the weird lighting reflection stuff. But this is actually green right there. And this is yellow. And this is blue. So it's come from uh, up around the shoulder most likely. Or yeah, probably up around the shoulder. Possibly around the neck. But anyway, Trey Burke to 25 is uh, with a nice piece of material for the Jazz. Now let's see what we have in limited. All right, let's go ahead and pull our base cards up here. Rudy Gobert, Jimmy Butler, Mark Saul, Paul Gasol, both the Gasol boys, Anthony Davis to, what does that say? To 15, number four of 15. On the Anthony Davis card. Rookie card for Malik Beasley of the Nuggets. Be interested to see if they trade him or what they do with him. I'm not sure if he's going to end up there in the long run or not. Marquise Chris for the Suns. And that is a sticker auto and a piece of uh, fabric. And then a stupid points card. So did that replace... Most of the time that replaces one of our hits. And... And it makes me super, super mad. And when you, you know, anybody that breaks with me all the time, you know this. I go off on it every time. It really irritates me. And I'm trying to see on this box, does it tell me how many hits I should have had? And I don't guess it says on this box. Um, but either way, we have these stupid 400 Panini Rewards points, which we will random off. So if it didn't replace a hit, they're not stupid. If it did, then they are. And I think it probably did because what do we have in here yeah i mean yeah we just have one signature and one uh yeah so i'm pretty sure this dumb 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 rewards points replaced one of our hits in limited so to recap out of this break we have the marquise chris signature and materials for the suns then all of these were just our base we did have the anthony davis to 15 but then our other quote, hit, is a stupid rewards point. Then out of Lux, we have Trey Burke to 25, Vince Carter to 99, the Terry Cummings, what was that number? To 49 on the Terry Cummings. And then the Byron Scott for the Lakers to 49, which is a really nice hit for the Lakers in my opinion. 
So I think everybody should write to Panini. No kidding. You should go on their Facebook and their Twitter and their blog and anything else that those fools have and tell them that, like, it is not okay to replace our hits with their stupid rewards points. All right, so let's go, first of all, to the spreadsheet. We're going to grab um, everybody's user ID out of this particular break, and then we're going to run over to random with it so that we can figure out who's going to get our rewards points that nobody really wanted, but we got anyway. So there you can just see everyone is in there from this break. And it is going to baseball cards MA. So baseball cards, I don't know, Massachusetts is what I'm going to say. It's probably not right. But I, I always like in my head, I decide, you know, I make up like what all the usernames could possibly stand for. So in that case, uh, we're just going to call you baseball cards Massachusetts. How about that? So those 400 points, they're going to you. They will come with the rest of your cards. And we've already done the rest of our recap there. So now that's going to leave us with heading back to our spreadsheet for a minute. And now we're going to do our nightly random. And I have everybody kind of in aggregate over here, as well as my numbers 1 through 20. So I can just grab those in a minute as well. So we're going to buzz down through here and grab everybody that is in all of our breaks tonight. And if I can get myself on the right page, then we're going to put that in random. And we're going to see who comes out with something extra. And then random's going to tell us what you're going to get out of the stack. So again, we're just going to buzz up through here. And you can see everyone is there. And it is going to Colin Doug. Colin, Doug, you are going to have something extra coming tonight. And let's go back in here. I'm going to jump back over the spreadsheet for a second. I won't make you join me on that one. I'll leave you on the view that you're on. And we'll see what you're going to win out of our stack. I have a bunch of different things, and I just grab a different handful every time we do one of these. And it is number three. So let's pull our stack over here first off. Oh, I just have them sitting over there. So here's our stack. And then we need to go to one, two, three. All right. So our third thing, which is this is going to Colin Doug tonight as our nightly giveaway, is Devin Williams college ticket out of contenders. And that's what you're going to get. So Colin Doug, this will be in with your other cards for the nightly random. So that is it for tonight, guys. As always, I thank you so much. Oh, Jupiter, hi. Yeah, you can you see, Jupiter was probably on the other night when I was ranting about points cards. <laughs> so yeah. All right. So that's it for tonight, guys. That is all the basketball we had rolling. Um, I do have when do I have more basketball? Tuesday night, I think. Uh, and a bunch of football and supposed to have been more baseball. And I didn't get it listed tonight like I intended. So it'll come up the following night, I guess. But anyway, as always, I appreciate so much you guys spending your time, your money with me. I will get your cards on the way either Tuesday or Wednesday. I thank you so much and you have a great night.